Hello students, this is question number one on TCP connection. This is a previous year gate question. This question is mainly about the uh, acknowledgement number. And we know acknowledgement number is the number of the next byte expected by the receiver. Let's see the question. What is given in the statement? Here the question is given as consider a TCP connection in a state where there is no outstanding acknowledgement means all the acknowledgements are coming one by one the sender sends two segments back to back means two subsequent segments are subsequent segments are sent by the sender one by one okay the sequence number of the first and the second segment is 230 and 290 means here we have given that two segments two segments and the first segment number the first segment sequence number is given as 230 and the second segment sequence number is given as 290 okay the first segment was lost okay this first segment get lost in the network but the second segment was received correctly by the receiver means this is successfully received successfully received by the receiver let x be the amount of data carried in the first segment in bytes and y be the acknowledgement number by the receiver okay x is the amount of data means uh, first segment size x is the first segment size okay and y is the acknowledgement number sent by the sender sent by the receiver okay then what is the value of x and y okay the question is clear here means between the sender and receiver sender sent a first segment first segment this is the first segment containing the sequence number is equal to 230 and this segment is get lost and the second segment is with sequence number is equal to 290 is received by the successfully received then retransmission will take place when any segment is lost or corrupted segment is received by the receiver or any duplicate segment is received by the receiver then that can be discarded by the receiver silently okay so then here one segment number one is lost then obviously if a segment is lost then the send receiver will send an acknowledgement to the sender for the retransmission of the lost packet then obviously here we see the receiver will send an acknowledgement and acknowledgement number is the number of the expected segment number of the expected segment and here we give the sequence number to the bytes and the sequence number of the segment is the number of the first byte contained in the segment here thing is clear first means the acknowledgement number is the acknowledgement number is the sequence number of the expected segment of the expected segment thing is clear here means y value is comes here y is equal to 230 next we need to find the value of x we know what is the size of the x actually this question is a little bit a confusing question for the students actually here instead of given the first segment here the second segment will come in the question then we can easily explain that one the first question sequence number is 230 means the first byte contain the size 30 they can ask you the second one also size of the second one also for the second one you need to know about the size of the third segment okay so they ask you first segment then first segment size is equal to first segment size is equal to what is the answer means we know the sequence number of second segment minus the sequence number of the first segment we can easily because both contain the first byte number we can easily calculate the 
290 and the first one is 30 means it contain the 60 bytes of data means first segment will contain 60 bytes of data we easily determine here with the help of this segment number initial segment number of the both segments then answer of x is equal to 60 bytes answer of x equal to 60 bytes so this way they can ask you the size of second segment also if they give you the third third uh, segment size or third segment number they can ask you these type of question and these questions are very very easy if you have the clear uh, concept or clear, uh, clear knowledge about the content which means uh, how a sequence number will help to uh, find the size of the particular segment or uh, what is the acknowledgement number if a segment get lost or corrupted received by the receiver and uh, if a duplicate packet is received by the receiver uh, what are the actions taken by the receiver for that segments okay so this question these type of questions are very very easy